Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm actually doing something different today. I'm just going to do my tutorial of my eyes, and my hair looks a mess, but they're just small little buns on my head while I wait for my hair to fully dry, but we're just going to jump right into it. So I've already primed my whole face and did my eyebrows, but it's very important to do your eyes before your foundation or any really putting anything onto your skin. Because when you mess up doing your eyes, like your eyeliner smudges or powder gets underneath your eyes, it's hard to clean off, especially when you already have foundation on and it just makes the whole look messy. So that's why I'm doing it right now before I do anything else. And most important step is taking a primer to put on top of your eyes so when you're putting powder and other stuff on your eyes, they stay still. So I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow uh, Primer um, Potion, and it's the color original. So I'm just going to take the wand and I'm just going to put it onto both the lids, just like that. And I take my ring finger and I just rub it in and rub it up, just like that. So you could prime your eyes. Cause like me, I like to wear my colors on my eyes like all the time. So first, I'm gonna grab a flat brush like this, and I'm gonna take a light color to also like it's almost like the foundation of your eyes, the color that when you start blending in, it mixes in better. It's so the very first color I like to use. So I'm gonna use this. This one of my favorite. This top color right here across my eyes. Now you're going to want to just, it's very light, which you should always start with a very light color. And you're just going to like tap it on across the whole lid. And even into the crease because when the crease is the real part that gets all the colors smudged up together in. You're going to do the same thing to the other eye. I then like to actually take the same color and then a flush, like a very like, I don't know what the blush, I don't know what to call it, like a very nice flushy brush and just blend it out more so it's just not stiff on my eye. Always tap out your powder so you're just not adding so much onto your face, no excess. Less is more. So today I'm going for more of a dome look around my eyes. So I'm going to go in with a grayish color right here for my crease. With that, I'm going to start putting more of darker colors around my eye to get more into creasing it and making it a little darker. I'm going to pick this brown right here. Now normally you would like lighter colors in your eyes to make them up wider, but I'm going to leave my middle area lighter and my two outer areas darker to make it more into a dome look. This also helps with making your eyes a little bit more circular while leaving it lighter in the center makes it a little bit more almond. Now just like that, I'm going to take my circular dome brush and I'm just going to blend it out into the crease. They're just blending up and inwards on both sides.
Now next step, I like to do this occasionally when I want to clear up the area when I'm putting um, glitter, like glitter eyeshadow onto my eyes. So I just like to put this a little more in the center because that's where I'm aiming to put it on both sides. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to go make sure it hits the crease but not further up so it gets the exact, it's almost like cut creasing right now. Now I'm going to go in again with my circular dome brush and I'm just going to blend out again so it's not just such harsh lines. Powder right here. That's super it's important to take a flat brush when you put on any powders or any colors onto your lid, even if it's matte, so they have the most pigment onto there. It's so important to dust off though, and I'm just gonna pat it on there. It's a very like muted red, almost brownish tone. And now I'm not going to do any eyeliner. I'm just going to jump right into curling my lashes. Now I'm using my Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof. Always important to have waterproof. From, I think, L'Oreal. It's a cheaper brand. It works just as good. It's supposed to be the dupe for the Better Than Sex uh, Mascara which I was in love with for the longest time. Now I'm not doing my bottom lashes yet, so when I'm putting foundation and concealer underneath my eyes, it doesn't like clump up onto my lashes. So I like to do that after I do everything. So that's almost the complete eye look today. I went for a very neutral dome, a very neutral dome like look. I didn't really want to go crazy. I didn't choose any eyeliner or anything like that. But I'm going to finish my face and come back to show you what I typically do right now. Alright, so I'm back. I put my false lashes on while I was ba baking, while I was baking. And now I'm going to actually do under my eyes because I finished doing my foundation and concealer so I'm gonna take a very I'm gonna take a very stiff pointed brush and I'm gonna take the rule is when you're doing under your eyes is 50% of what you do above so I'm only gonna take my crease color and I'm only gonna do on the outside and then I'm gonna do my glitter color right in the middle so my crease color was my grayish my light gray right there. Still tapping off and I'm just going to go lightly, really close, right underneath my eye. And I'm going to go like 25 right there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go from my inner corner. I'm going to go right here really close up. And I'm just going to blend it in. And now I'm going to go to the next second eye and do the same thing. Now I'm going to take my light reddish glittery color right there and I'm going to put that in the center on the bottom.
And now I'm going to take my creasing blending brush and I'm going to go underneath my eyes and blend everything out. And now, last, I'm actually going to put mascara onto my bottom lashes. And that's it. That's the eye look for today. I'm going to finish doing my face and showing you the finishing look. Hey guys, I'm back and I just finished the, this look. It's complete. Hope you enjoyed the video and please like, subscribe, and come back to watch more. Bye!